like if you if you've got a foal with angular angular limb deformities, here's a bit of a curly one for you. Yeah. And 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 they're getting restricted and locked up under farrier attention. Um, like, is there a tipping point where the restrictions too much and it's actually going to be cause more problems than it's worth? Yeah, you know, like in this, um, like are we? Cause they're going to miss out on this early inductive um, stimulus because they're restricted so much because we're trying to get the legs to straighten. Do we need to be a little more free with that? I know it's probably hard to answer. Really, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit, yeah, how long is a piece of string? Um, because the classic is how bad is, is, is the deviation and where is the site and what is the problem? But as a, as a nice rule of thumb, the idea is that really what you want to do is you want to be as subtle as you can with the correction of those limb defol deformities and then get the foals able to exercise. And we, we've got some nice data uh, that we published a couple of years ago from the commercial thoroughbred industry here, where um, in New Zealand, the, the team tend to work a lot on, they'll restrict the fault as little as they can, uh, but they'll get in there, they'll restrict it if they have to, they'll trim it, and then they'll try and get it out at pasture as quickly as they can, because they recognise that, and it doesn't necessarily have to be big, uh, a large paddock to start off with, but the sooner that the fold is out, providing those lovely moderate load cycles, the quicker that it will straighten up and have an effect with that trimming, and then you're off laughing. Yeah. Oh, very good. Yeah. Um, but we found even with really, really, like we graded them from zero to three, and three was the most uh, crooked that we had. We found when we went back and looked at some of the foals that have been managed conservatively and then allowed access um, to exercise, that we were unable to identify that even those um, super crooked ones because they'd actually straightened quite nicely just with those moderate load cycles and with trimming.